Howdy doody, you doody, doody, broody, to Tuesday, everybody. It's actually Tuesday this time. We're on the go. Today we're featuring my good friend Cody. And uh, Tina's right there. I'm on vacation this week. I am drinking every fucking day. You guys know how it is. Today we're at the Penrose Tap Room. We have nine different beers. Eight we're about different. Eight different. Yeah. They're about to try. So this one's called their Proto. It's an American Golden Ale. Smells pretty good. You want to smell it? Yeah. Yeah, that smells good. It smells pretty good. Kind of fruity. Featuring mild fruit aromas that combine with a subtle breadiness for an extremely balanced, refreshing experience. You can drink that all day. You can definitely drink this all day. Yeah. 5% okay. alcohol per volume. Tina's going for it. Yeah. What do you think? She doesn't like beer. Disclaimer, Tina doesn't drink beer. <laughs> So what are we going for next, Big Al? Uh, this one was the uh, Bright Blonde. The Bright Blonde. Yeah. Uh, it is a hop notes of candied lime peel. That one is your stainless. Oh, oh stainless. stainless. Oh, I didn't get the... Oh, oh you did not get it. <laughs> so this one's... The stainless, the rotating stainless. It's the Brooks Primary Wild Ale. Mm. Is that good? Oh, it's really good. What's uh, what's in the Brooks Primary? So, um, Brooks is the same spring. Okay. And we use it in the primary fermentation. It's got that nice kind of fruity. It's definitely a very fruity beer. Uh, I like that though. It's That's nice. super tart and it's got a little bit of funk, but uh, no, I, not a whole lot. No, like the funk, I, I dig it. That's a good one. I like that a lot. Tina's reaction. She might like this one. Not See? See? Okay. This is the Stephen Street Pale Ale. What do they say about this one? Peppery grapefruit. Prickly mouthfeel. I like I like where this is going. This is gonna be a great one. I smell the pepper though. Yeah, the, the pepper and the grapefruit really come to the forefront of the nose. I need to I need to hone my nose palate before I start no, getting those. That, right. In that, in that you guys want water? Yeah, I'll probably have a water. I'll take a water. Keep the palate refreshed, you know. No, that's, I like that's good though. That's really good. It's yeah, it's the the hops don't, they don't, don't like, dominate. No, yeah. You know they really do just kind of help accentuate bring everything yeah. together at the end. In my opinion. Come on, Stephen Street Pale Ale. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Got her. No. And this next one is the uh, the axial. It's a wit with Meyer lemon and green coriander. Very interesting. I'm gonna just lift the camera up. I like this face. This face is a little better. By the time I have tasted four beers, the nose is always getting more and more underwhelming. You know. So I agree with that. that. Mm. Wow. Well, that, that's just, that is different. The coriander is definitely like a major note. Major note. I definitely get the oh, yeah. lemon. I get, I get the, the lemon, lemon and the coriander. Like I get the lemon. I get the coriander up front. The lemon is kind of coming up now, you know. Right, it, it ling the lemon lingers. The lemon does linger. But it's got coriander in it. The, like the lemon lingers with the coriander, like crisply finishes. It's a good, that's a good drinkable beer. Hey, what does Tina think so far? Yeah, I'm done trying. <laughs> done trying. She's okay, boys. Up. Well, that is gonna wrap up the tasting for today, because I got five minutes left in this video. And as always, 